what is going on everybody and welcome to SHA Vibe and today I'm gonna be showing you how you can create text just like this one on Adobe Illustrator. So let's get right into it. Now the first thing that you gotta do is go to your tools panel and select the shape selector. You can also try switching between the cubes for a better overall look so that it doesn't look too plain.
as you can see we're now done with an S and all we're gonna be basically doing is tracing every single letter with the cubes we created. And since I've already shown you the fundamentals of creating a letter using this technique, you now more or less have the idea of creating every single letter. So I'll just fast forward the video to skip some boring parts. So now that we're done with the letters SHA, all that's left to type is to type down the letters V I B E with the isometric design and I'll just quickly show you how that's done as well. By the way, just a little note, some letters such as the V can be tricky at first to create but once you get the idea of how each cube on the letters should be placed, you can you'll be able, able to create everything by yourself with ease. Okay, so both the words SHA and vibe, vibe are completely done and all that's left to do now is just add a little bit of shadows to design. So that it looks like they are on some kind of platform. And to create the shadows you just have to use a rectangle and apply gradient on it. With one side, trans tra side transparent and the other with any dark color that you prefer. And after we apply the shadow to every single letter we are completely done. Alright, so after that you can still try adding some more visuals to either want to use the text for some kind of an ad or some kind of logo or any placement you want to you want to use. For example, I'm just going to add a plain ground under the text. And after that I'll give it a reflective background feel. And to do that you just had to copy the text that you made and lower the opacity to around 10%. Well, I'm just gonna quickly apply these enhancements on Illustrator, but to go a little advanced, you should probably try playing around in Photoshop or any other good editing software. Okay guys, that's it for this tutorial. I'll be providing every single file in the description box below, and I hope you learned something new today, and if you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more content. And also don't forget to download my new game GoShift T released on the App Store.